Well, good evening. Tonight, we're going to crack open two green light hitch and tow. Um, this green light hitch and tow 67 Ford Custom with the Shasta Air Flight Trailer uh, from Hitch and Tow Series 5. And let's see what year this is. Copyright 2016. The others available that year with this 67 Ford Custom, 2015 Ford F-150 and flatbed trailer, 2014 Ram 1500 and Gas Monkey Garage enclosed car hauler. So this is the second Gas Monkey Garage one. I didn't know about that. A 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500 and a horse trailer. Um, I'm sorry, all of Series 5. There are four in Series 5, not five. And then the second one we're going to open up is Hitch and Toe Series 7, the 2015 Ford Explorer New York City Parks and Small Cargo Trailer. Uh, copyright 2018. And here are the four in that series. 2015 Chevy Silverado and State Fair Concession Trailer. 2014 F-150 Gulf Oil, number 66, and Gulf Oil Enclosed Car Hauler. I'd like to get that one. 2015 Ram 1500 Mopar Edition and rat, uh, Flatbed Trailer. And this Explorer with the uh, New York City Parks and Recreation with the small cargo trailer. So I've pre-cut these, again, because I don't want to be waving the knife around on video. Uh, so, let's get these out. And there's quite a bit of weight to this. Let's see. We'll get the pieces out of the packaging, hopefully without damaging anything. This trailer is actually heavy. It uh, feels like it's full metal. So we'll start with the 67 Ford Custom. Uh, of course, I love 60s Fords. This is the second 67 Ford Custom. I have the one from the Supernatural Hollywood collector tin. Uh, nice detailed painted headlights, uh, turn indicators, nice grill detail, opening hood, uh, blue engine with the silver air cleaner. You can see the Ford letters on the beginning of the hood and some nice details. The custom, all the chrome painted around the window frame and vent window. The actual driver's door window has no glass, but the passenger's does. Very nice, realistic, authentic wheel covers with white wall tires. Um, this... They must have made a lot of these because uh, that looks like it says 08242. So I guess they made more than 10,000 of these, 1967 Ford Custom. Um, casting number GL, oh, I can't read that, maybe you can, GL53. Nice details, painted taillights. This one has a trailer hitch. And I like that the fact the hood opens because not, not all of them do. And then the trailer hitch. That would click right on there. And before I forget, I just want to get that little screw jack for the trailer. So, this has some real weight to it. I'm not into trailers, uh, but... So, this is the Shasta Air Flight. And that's a Shasta. Dr. Tinted Windows, Louvers. These chrome fins. This is all the vent. 
propane tank, your plugs and so forth, and your little access panel, all your reflectors and indicators, appropriate steel rims with door, cap, uh, door dish wheel covers and white walls, uh, a metal base. I haven't run into any plastic. GL095, I guess. All painted details, but still uh, painted over windows. Another access door does not open, but that's a nice, substantial, heavy piece. And back in the days before SUVs, this is actually what you'd see towing these things. There were no SUVs. There were full-size cars, pickup trucks, and station wagons. And pickup trucks weren't really... Most people didn't have pickup trucks. Um, they were more rural until, say, the 1970s. Um, I was the first member of my direct family to own a pickup truck. Um, then my older brother has had several. Uh, my twin brother had a little Dodge D50. Um, but when we were when we were kids, we grew up in New York City, and you rarely saw pickup trucks parked on the streets of New York City. Uh, vans were more popular in the early 70s. And of course, station wagons ruled for decades. And some of us love station wagons and miss them. So this is nicely detailed and quite heavy, and that's, that's nice. Put that in the back there. And so now, let's crack this. And um, my father-in-law, who I never met, um, passed away before we met, uh, worked for the New York City Parks uh, Department, um, head horticulturist uh, for a while there. Um, and so got this for two reasons. I, I, I like the Explorer, and I thought it would be a nice, neat thing to have uh, the uh, City of New York Parks and Recreation. So let's crack that out. And this trailer is plastic. Plastic base, plastic trailer, uh, rubber wheels with the uh, wagon style wheels, which would be common on this lightweight utility trailer. And this is the type of small trailer that would be used by landscapers and such. Let's see if it opens, maybe not, but let's see. Yep, it does open. So that's nice, it opens. I mean, this is feather white, uh, feather light, um, but nice painted details. The, uh, the texture here on the diamond plate, you can see all the markers, a vent, um, you can see the rivets uh, tampoed on there. Um, reflectors. 
So that's not too bad. But here we go. The 2015 Explorer, similar to what you'd see um, in the uh, Hot Pursuit series. So lensed headlights, some nice details, uh, painted fog lights, uh, nice tampo there. These are authentic wheels that you would find on a 2015 Explorer. Uh, rear view mirrors with the silver paint. Um, a clear strobe bar. And it looks like one of the taillights fell out. Uh, but it would be an inserted detail. So I'll look for that on the floor or in the package. Um, uh, metal base metal body number 5883 2015 copyright 2016 city of New York So this is nice um, The exhaust molded into the base a visible under the rear bumper and of course the trailer hitch This would have no problem towing such a light trailer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, no opening hood, no opening tailgate. Um, I hate to be that guy, but typical green light quality control issues. They make such a nice product. They do such nice details. But, you know, 25% of what they send out has issues either with body leans, chassis leans, or pieces that fall off too easy, or they don't roll. Um, and you know, they really do crank these out. So I shouldn't be too critical. But this is nice, so I'm, I'm happy I got these two sets. I figured I'd take a little bit of a break from all the uh, Shelby stuff. Uh, I was going to try and take a break from some of the Ford stuff, but, you know, a leopard has his spots or can't change his spots, right? Is that how it goes? All right, so uh, let me know what you think of these. Uh, these are the last two of the Hitch and Toe that I have for now. Uh, I have some more uh, Green Light and some more Auto World that I'll be opening with and some hopefully surprise new, new to me brands. Uh, so, uh, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you. Have a good night.